So for the final time this season, I'm going to sit down and talk to you guys about another Reading defeat. It makes it 13 games without a win for the Royals uh, and our misery for this season has finally been put to an end. Look, this 2023 has been absolutely atrocious for Reading. Two wins uh, in this calendar year. And uh, yeah, it's been an absolute disgrace uh, as it's finally, finally come to an end this campaign. Listen, before I get started in the video, I'm going to say congratulations to Huddersfield uh, for staying up. I know there'll be a lot of Huddersfield fans that come on this video uh, expecting me to be salty or sad or like angry with Huddersfield. But no, I just got to say congratulations. Listen, seven wins out of the last 15 games, I think it is. Neil Warnock's done a fantastic job. Um, I mean, it's what he does. He keeps teams in the championship. He wins promotions. Um, so he's a successful manager. So fair play to Neil Warnock and fair play to Huddersfield. Listen, I don't know how next season's going to go. You have to see how who you bring in, what recruitment you do. But uh, yeah, you don't want to be relying on Neil again come next season. Um, but yeah, fair play to them and congratulations. Right, now going into the game, I know this is a match review. I'll talk about the game a little bit. Um, but in all honesty, it's not going to be a massive match review. Listen, originally it was supposed to be the battle of the relegation teams. It was supposed to be the biggest game of the season. It was supposed to come down to the wire, come down to this one. But Huddersfield spoiled that party for Reading uh, and won against Sheffield United on Thursday, which confirmed their safety. Uh, Reading, obviously, listen, it's all on them at the end of the day. It was all Reading's fault. We could have avoided being put into this situation uh, the six points deduction did obviously didn't help uh, could have ended up staying up this season if we uh, had that points deduction uh, worked out that we would have finished in I think it was where is it 20th position so you know swings and roundabouts it's poor we don't want to be in this position anyway but it's happened and uh, yeah we're going to be playing League One football next season so yeah originally it's supposed to be 2,200 odd Reading fans going we sold out our away allocation apparently around 1,500 Reading fans didn't go myself included um, look I justify myself by not going for saying listen I don't think the players deserve it it's, it's not in protest of the team or the owners but at the end of the day I don't think they deserved our support because they've been so poor in this calendar year of 2023 they've just been dreadful and also I don't want to waste my time five hours up there five hours back to watch us just get bantered for 90 minutes and just poor 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 football again it's just poor football we're already relegated it was a nothing game at the end of the day um, and the first half really did show that it was a real nothing game nothing really happened um, Reading went close uh, a header from a hit the outside of the post from Kasady, Uh someone who won't be here next season uh, simple fact of that there's going to be a lot of players that won't be here next season Andy Carroll didn't travel today um, Noel Hunt says that that was his decision uh, not to play him Lucas Wow, Yakumete two players that are out of contract in the summer two players that I thought would have liked to have played to you know say goodbye but no they don't give a toss well, I just don't think they care the two players didn't play apparently Yaku Mete came back early from injury maybe it's the case of that I'm not gonna throw that out for Mete but for Zhao I think he's lazy I think he didn't care I think he's already on his holidays I think he's he's gone and listen this season not been good he's not been good at all uh, in terms of the starting lineup for Reading, Kanaya Boyce Clark started his first game for the club. And Bengu, Holmes, Saar, and Yeardom were the back four. Listen, potentially could be our back four come the start of next season in League One as well. I kind of could see Mbengu going on though. Uh, I think he's a very good player who, uh, if we can trigger that contract extension, could get a decent fee for. Uh, Tom McIntyre sat just in front of the back four, playing in that defensive midfielder position. Still don't think it's naturally right for him, but if we're going to keep playing him there, I guess he can only get better as time goes on. Aziz and Hoylet were the two wingers today. Aziz was one of the players. Aziz and Yeardon were straight down the tunnel today. Um, I think that kind of tells you everything you need to know. Jeff Hendrick and Kasady were the two central midfielders with uh, club legend Shane Long starting what could maybe possibly be his last game at the club. Listen, Shane Long this season, we thought he would be a little bit different. Maybe seven, eight goals could be contributed. No, just the one championship goal for Shane Long this year. And that came from the penalty spot against Cardiff. So, yeah, maybe that weren't the type of signing that we thought he was going to be. It's unfortunate. It weren't the fairy tale ending that he wanted at the club. I'm sure he didn't expect to score just one championship goal and uh, be relegated in the process. Uh, next thing we will talk about was the goals themselves. Huddersfield won 2-0. That was the actual result. I haven't actually mentioned that yet. 
uh, Josh Koroma and Hungbo scoring the two goals in the 49th and 84th minute respectively. Koroma's goal from a run, it came from a running mistake. Uh, it came when Kanaya Boys Clark passed the ball up to Nabi Saar. Saar passed it back to Clark uh, and it was a little bit short. Uh, yeah, ball came straight to uh, Huddersfield. Diara passed it to Koroma. Koroma, goal. Uh, other goal was by Hungbo. Can't lie, didn't actually see this one. Um, I was more focused on the Millwall versus Blackburn game that was going on. What a game, can I say, by the way. 4-3 to Blackburn. Congratulations to Sunderland as well, making it to the playoffs. Massive well done to them. Um, and that was it. Running ended up losing 2-0. Listen to the fans that went. I heard that there was clapping at the end of the game. Why are you clapping the players off the pitch at the end of the day? After this season, I don't think they deserve that. And I just don't think at the end of the day, Reading deserve anything from the fans. They may put the effort in and you may say, ah, oh, we're loyal with this, with that. But sometimes you have to speak with your actions. And listen, the Reading fans, we've got a massive summer coming up. Um, and yeah, we're going to have to back them come the start of the season next year. But massive, massive summer coming up. Massive job for Mark Bowen and his team. And uh, yeah, massive job for whoever comes in. Personally, I'd like Richie Wellens or Luke Garrard. Uh, from Boreham Wood, who, uh, listen, took Notts County all the way to extra time in the playoffs. I think he's a decent young manager who we might be able to take a shout on. So, it's going to be it for today's video, guys. I hope you have all enjoyed it. My name's been James. We'll see you all for another video coming very soon. I've got a out-of-contract League One players special uh, that will be coming out in the near future. Thanks for watching, guys. My name's been James. See you next time. Bye-bye.